The third annual Million Mask March happened today in several cities around the world. The march started in the wake of Occupy Wall Street by the secretive hacking group Anonymous, whose motto, we do not forget and we do not forgive. Here's a look at the march tonight in New York City, one of the many cities that demonstrated. Now today's march is meant to bring attention to what Anonymous has described as everything evil and corrupt in our world. We've been covering the movement today all over the world. RT's Harry Fears in London. But first, Alexei Arashevsky hit the streets of D.C. So the Million Mask March now is in the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. The plan is uh, to hit pretty much every governmental uh, building in the city. We are anonymous. We are the leader. Forgive. It will start off at the White House. Then the plan is to walk to the Department of Justice, the FBI, and uh, many other governmental bodies here. The people protesting here, uh, they're pretty much protesting against all the wrongs in the world. Uh, wage inequality, GMO foods, uh, mass surveillance. And the idea of uh, this is a global gathering. It's being held in um, at least two dozen cities in the United States and also a lot of places across the world. We're expecting this to last until uh, the late hours in the evening. Last year, during the very same uh, Million Mask March in Washington, D.C., there had been a few arrests. Uh, we'll see how it plays this time. Of course, we'll be keeping a close eye on what's happening in Washington, D.C., during the Million Mask March. Alexei Roshevsky, RT, reporting from Washington, D.C. One of the protesters partaking among the several hundred already here tonight is this gentleman. And you have, a, if I may, a very nice banner. It reads, uh, or poster, your ignorance is their power. And you've been telling me that that is the kind of message that you feel you want to have heard today. I'm here to represent an oppressed nation. I'm here to represent an oppressed society where I believe we've been walking around in ignorance. And I feel it's now it's time for us to have, to have our eyes opened and, and, and not allow the wall to be pulled over our eyes. The protest tonight is due to finish before 9 p.m. The police have been very strict that it has to be within the time limit of 6 to 9 p.m. here local time. And there are a lot of public order policing restrictions in place. We're in Trafalgar Square, but this building here is the National Gallery. And you can see on the side there, the police have actually projected a warning with this kind of laser green message on the side of the National Gallery, basically affirming their right to remove the masks or uh, facial coverings of any of the uh, protesters. They've also been forced to uh, take part in a particular route and I can show you the map if I can unfold the paper they must uh, follow police officers along this specific route here in central London today towards Parliament and they are not allowed to go beyond that permitted route so you can see there there are real restrictions in place and this is really because last year police say that there was marked violence among the minority of protesters of course there were several thousand last year but there were uh, 10 people arrested so there's a fear from the police's perspective that something similar could happen tonight. We'll be here on the ground to see if there is.